What's up guys, PPG Gorilla here. As you may have seen, I managed to make my first solo flight. While it was no distance record, it was a successful and safe flight. This video is to talk a little bit about um, my experience up to this point and purchasing my first wing and how I got here. Probably most of you have seen Tucker Gus videos and that's kind of what got me into the hobby, got me interested watching some of his videos along with the guys from Flight Test, learning how to fly over at Aviator PPG. After watching a few of those I was hooked and decided this was something that I wanted to do. I come from an aviation background. I have a private pilot's license and spent most of my time in a Cessna 172. My dad was a flight instructor, so I was lucky enough to learn how to fly and spent a lot of time flying around Florida for the $100 cheeseburgers. When I started calling around checking into lessons to fly PPG, I found that there was a very long wait, sometimes a year or more. Uh, fortunately, the guys over at Aviator put out this how-to kiting video, almost an hour and 40 minutes of uh, good instruction from the wing basics to getting your wing out and kiting on your own. I watched it four or five times and I was pretty much hooked at that point. I found a local instructor and only had to wait a couple of months till training, but I decided I didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to get my wing and start to do some kiting on my own, so that's what I did. I researched and looked around and I decided to buy a Dudek Universal 31 meter uh, 1.1. I ordered that and had it shipped directly to my house. I ordered a kiting harness off of eBay and a week later I was the proud owner of a brand new Dudek Universal 31 meter wing. I took it out and started to kite at some local fields. I found out quickly this is much more difficult than it looks on YouTube and much more difficult than it looks even in the training videos. At first I had a very difficult time even keeping the wing up and controlling it. I had a feeling from the beginning that the brake lines were too long uh, because I had to pull almost down to my waist to really get any control of the wing. I found out later with my instructor that was true. We ended up shortening the brake lines uh, six or eight inches on each side. It was almost impossible to control and I had to pull the brakes almost down to my waist to even feel control pressure on the wing. I don't even know how I managed to do any kiting, but I did. So let's talk a little bit about the Dudek Universal. The Dudek is a B-rated wing. An A-rated wing is the most gentile and docile recommended for training. A B-rated is a little bit more responsive and a little bit faster. I chose that wing because I didn't want to start with an A wing and outgrow it within the first couple months of flying. The first thing you notice is that the risers are just a little bit busier. There are some extra lines. It uses split A's and there are some stay below or uh, tip steering lines there, but not anything really too complicated. I noticed there was a lot more stuff or some more stuff than the A wings that my instructor had and we were using in training. We did a lot of short toes. Um, on the winch in training and I found that I had to run a lot faster with my wing compared to the A wings my instructor had. They just seemed to be a little bit more lifty. I think the trim speed of my Dudek was just a little bit faster. Guys, here's the bottom line. There's a lot of great people out there that are willing to help you and give you advice. Find a good instructor. Find a great school. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stand in your way. Make this your goal and make it happen. If I can do this, you can do it too. It'll change your life, guys, so I encourage you to follow your dreams and reach for the skies. Thanks, guys. Thanks for following along, and please like and subscribe if you haven't. Gorilla out.